It's coming back, Love After Lockup, you guys, my favorite show of all time ever is finally coming back on June 18th, and you guys, from what we have seen, this season looks unbelievable. Y'all, we got so much to talk about, I don't want to waste any time, I want to jump into who is going to be this cast and what we can expect in this season, because People Magazine did an exclusive release with Wii TV and Love After Lockup sharing the cast. Without further ado... Here is the freaking cast. Number one, boom, right there. I think his name is Dante and Nicole. Uh, he's from Newport News, Virginia, and she is from Troy, Virginia. And it says on People Magazine, Dante is known for falling fast and loving hard, but Nicole isn't Dante's first inmate. When Dante first fell in love with an inmate prior to Nicole, he spent so much money on her that eventually he had to move back in with his mother. Oh my God, dude, what is wrong with you? Prior to prison, Nicole lived a wild life, and she was known for being a party girl. Will conservative Dante prove exciting enough for Nicole? Will Nicole's wild ways be more than Dante can handle? I can tell you guys one thing. I just freaking first glance. If he's already gone down this road, he's a pretty good looking guy. Dude, I'm going to say it real quick. Meet someone in person that is not in jail, that is not just trying to use you for your money. Okay, case closed. Let's go on to the next couple. More on these two in a couple of minutes. The next one is Rachel and Doug. And ooh, 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 they are from Michigan. Warren, Michigan. I know Warren. Warren is by Detroit. And Kinchy Chloe? I have no idea where that... Let me check where that is real quick. One sec. Oh, wow. Okay, that town, I think it's like Kinch... E. Lowy, Michigan, is in the UP, y'all. The Upper Peninsula, that is basically like you're freaking in Canada. And those people up there, it's a very rural style of life. I don't know who met who, but it says Rachel met her new love on a right of prisoner after two previous uh, prison relationships. Oh my God, Rachel, once again, meets someone in real life. But she goes, she's convinced the third time's a charm. Rachel and Doug got married while he was in prison and have never been, uh, you know, romantic together. Then it goes on to say, Doug, who has been in and out of prison since he was 18, has an 11-year-old son whom he believes Rachel is too soft on and plans to get the household into shape when he is released. He has never been faithful in any of his relationships, but thanks, things will uh, be different with Rachel, a hard-working woman who is able to provide for him and his son. Couple things real quick. Rachel, why did you marry this guy? Why, 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 why? Also, you're raising the guy's kid, which that, that's very nice, but it is just kind of like, I mean, just once again, meet a guy in real life that can raise his own kid. Number three, you're planning on you know supporting and providing financially for the family, which is cool and that's amazing and whatnot, but it's like, if he comes out of prison, which he's going to be coming out, shouldn't he be forced to get a job and live a normal life like the rest of us everywhere else? But that's all I'm going to say. Let's keep on moving on. Then we have Courtney and Josh from both from Ohio, a bunch of Midwestern people. Wow. It says Courtney fell madly in love with inmate Josh during her time as a corrections lieutenant. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Would they have crossed paths while she was working? Kind of interesting. She goes, their relationship was discovered. Courtney was fired. So yes, it did cross paths. Wow. Ultimately set to jail and is currently still on probation. Holy crap! Oh my god! However, this allowed her to pursue the relationship further and soon after, Courtney and Josh were married in prison. The couple were married by proxy and neither were present for the wedding. But did they really know what they were getting themselves into when saying, I do? How did they find a couple like this to go on love after lockup? Y'all, this is why I said at the beginning of the video, this is the best show. This is the best love reality TV show on TV. Better than 90 Fiancés. It's better than Married at First Sight. It's way better than The Bachelor. This is the best show ever. So, okay, sorry, that little rant. Let's keep on going on. Now we have Brittany and Rick both from Texas and it says Brittany comes from an accomplished family that has the same expectation for her future partner however Brittany's current relationship could topple it all she's dating an inmate and she met on ooh, Facebook that's kind of weird Ray had a really hard life uh, his mom passed away sent him into a spiraling into trouble ultimately Ray landed in prison for selling you know what and Brittany is desperate to get married at 32 she feels that her chances at having a family is slipping away can Brittany get her mother to approve or will this couple move forward without her mother's blessing um the thing I will say about these two we see the picture she's attractive and so if she is 32 she wants to have a family I'll say it once again she looks great it sounds like she has a great family and whatnot I'll say it once again 
Why could you not meet a guy in real life that is not in prison? But, and I usually, I feel like, geez, if, you're, if he has the bad past, he can possibly change. But it just seems like whenever we see these couples, they rarely ever actually change and make anything different. Like, they always keep going in that direction. It's like, remember Jessica and Maurice from a couple seasons ago? I loved him. I thought he was amazing. Jessica's family was kind of leery, and they were weird because he's been in prison for years and years and years. Maurice came out. He was a smooth talker. Then, the guy's now back in jail. So it's like, and of course, Jessica's acting like, and maybe this is the case, but she's acting like it was a setup and it was this and that, but it's still, it's kind of like, ugh, not looking good for Marie. So anyway, um, this lady, what was her name? Her name is Brittany. She's very good looking. I don't know why she can't meet a man in, that is not in jail. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, here we go. Okay, kind of interesting. Anissa, I might be butchering that name, but Anissa and Jeffrey, Anissa or Anissa, whatever, and Jeffrey met 10 years ago on a pen pal website, and after a few letters, they switched to phone calls and their exclusive relationship began, or so she thought. Anissa has put all of herself into the relationship emotionally and the one I hate the most, y'all, financially. However, Jeff was supposed to be released to Anissa twice before, but both times, he bailed on her, making her friends wonder if Jeff is even real at all. This is Anissa's final attempt at Happily Ever After with Jeff. Will this release be her third swing and a miss at love? Once again, y'all, you guys see that? I'm crying because I freaking love this show so much. But okay, last but not least, we have Stan and Lisa. I am really looking forward to these two for a couple reasons. Stan is a retired millionaire who is full of life. After his wife passed in 2012, that's sad, he did what any wealthy man in his position might do, find a young, attractive woman to date. Stan and Lisa met in 2017 on a date dating site seeking arrangements and only met in person once before Lisa got locked up. After about a year and a half with her still incarcerated, they reconnected and fell in love again. Anyway, I'm trying to kind of connect the dots because, you know, they don't name the couples yet. I do know, okay, the old one right there, that old guy, that's Stan. We know that. The woman to his left, if we zoom on in, I'm blanking on her name, but she is the woman that, um, she was like the corrections officer. She actually went to jail for like 60 days. Okay, let's keep on going. Then guy to her left is the Dante, and I think in Nicole, I believe. So we we see a lot of their footage, but the, the, see the people, though, it's weird, is the girl to his left, um, she looks a little bit on the older side, not real, but a little bit on the older side. I don't know her name. Now, I don't know, I, I watched the trailer a couple times, I, she wasn't named. She was not on it. So I don't know if she's the Anissa and like Jeff person, I think. Maybe. They didn't name her. So maybe they don't have a lot of footage of her yet. I really don't know. But for whatever reason, she was not on it much. And then the people to the left of her, they were on a ton too. But that person, the Anissa person, um, yeah, wasn't there. And then, then that's actually really it because the person on the far right... I think that's people that were from Michigan. So, y'all, Love After Lockup, wow, um, June 18th, this season, at first glance. I mean, the last season we had was pretty freaking great. Couple things I want to say, but before I say that, is I do want to mention, y'all remember Scott from Love After Lockup. Last season, it was Scott and Lindsay. They were a complete mess. He, she, he was, or she was awful. He was just kind of there. It ended really horribly. It was a, a terrible couple. They had no business being together. Well, guess what? I reached out to Scott and guess what he said? He agreed to come on the channel for an exclusive interview to share his side to the story. So y'all, I just want to let you guys know, keep an eye open. If you guys have any questions you want me to ask him, please, please, please send me a message, write in the comments what you guys want to hear. I, you know, just let me know what you guys want to hear and I will definitely make sure to ask my fear. While we're talking about Lofter Lockup, might as well mention that he is going to be coming on this channel and he claims he has a lot of stuff to tell. He's never done an interview before, so I have a feeling, ugh, you guys, it's going to be pretty freaking good. Well, yes, with this new season of Love Lockup, it looks amazing. I'm excited. I can't wait. This is my favorite show ever. Um, at first glance, none of the couples seem very real. They all seem like, you know, the old guy and the this, and they were doing the money, and they always seem pretty kind of crazy. But every season, we usually have one or two couples that seem kind of real. This season is kind of debatable. So, y'all, Love Your Lockup, my favorite show ever. Comment below what you guys have to say. If you have any questions for uh, Scott, let me know. Definitely super excited for that. Well, guys, thank you all so much. Love you all very much. Hit that like button in the comments below. And y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.